Um, good afternoon, everyone. As we know that there are many factors that contribute to the uncleanliness of public toilet in Malaysia. So today we are going to discuss about how public toilet can be improved. Uncleanliness of public toilet is always a, an issue and topic that most people concern and discuss about in Malaysia. So can Husnia share to us her opinion on how can we improve the uncleanliness of public toilet in Malaysia? Okay, thank you, Yang, for your question. I think a, uh, a way to prove public toilet uncleanliness is we, uh, this is my opinion, we're putting back the water hose at its place after using it. This to prevent the hose on the floor from being stepped on it. Can you imagine, for example, when we were uh, when we are in hurry, we would not notice that the hose is on the floor, so we accidentally step on it. Uh, we can imagine if people step on it accidentally and quite often, the hose body will be dirty and the other user will be disgusted to hold it, but they have to use it. Based on my experience, this situation always happens to me, but I do not have any other choice but to clean the host body first, then I finish my business, which make me uncomfortable because I have to hold on to my business there. So I actually in a hurry because I couldn't hold it anymore, but I have to hold it so that I can clean the water hose first. Yeah, it's quite uncomfortable for me, actually. And I think that's all from me because that is what I think very uncomfortable about uncleanliness, public toilet. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Husnia, for sharing the point. So I would like to ask, how can you make sure that uh, the people who use the toilet before will put back the horse and how how can we make awareness to them to like put back the horse to the original position? Okay, uh, I would like to uh, answer this question then, can I? Yeah, yeah, you can. Okay, I think um, government can, this, I uh, share my opinion, it doesn't matter who can do this. I think government can make a sign or put a worker there to put a sign, to, um, put it back to the original place. Thank you. Usually we can can see it at the public toilet or a public place where after we use it we need to put it back uh, you see i i see that quite a lot i think that will help uh, to clean public pot toilet okay thank you thank you husnia for answering my question so how about atira do you have any any opinion that how can we improve the uncleanliness of public toilet in malaysia First of all, I would like to say thank you to Miss Yen for this chance of giving me um, for giving me this chance to point out some of my opinions about this issue. So we all know that the issue of the uncleanliness of public toilets in Malaysia has been the talk of the town for quite some time now and it hasn't been solved really from the core. So in my opinion, one of the ways which we can um, improve the cleanliness of public toilet is that we should, um, that the public should educate themselves to be more responsible towards public property. This should begin at such a young age by both parties, which are family members and the teachers at school. Parents should also educate their children to use the toilet properly. As an example, they should all be um, warned before that they should not let the floor wet because it may disturb other users because others might find it a bit uncomfortable when they use the toilet when the floor is wet, right? And then they should also practice the very common um, practice, which is to flush every time after they use it. And they should also be um, told to not use the pop, to not use the tissue paper at such insufficient amount. It means that they should use the tissue paper at sufficient amount to avoid causing any waste. And moreover, teachers should also create a clean toilet environment in school by encouraging the students to always ensure the cleanliness of the toilet. Teachers can probably organize like campaign um, 
called as the toilet uncut kind of thing so that students can always um, you know, open their eyes that the cleanliness of, of toilets is something that is very important and everyone should take care of it. And it's not an individual, it's everyone's responsibility, right? And I guess that by practicing and by encouraging students these ways, and I guess that by encouraging students since they are young, it may help to, um, it may help to encourage them to also practice this when they are using public toilets because by applying these positive practices for years since they are young there is no way that they won't practice it at public toilets right and to conclude my points i think that it is very important to educate people since they are young because as the saying goes strike the iron while it's hot so why not everyone should have the responsibility and should be taught since they are young right so i guess that's all thank you miss yan um, thank you, Atira, for sharing uh, her, her point. This one is really good, I think. Because education is what we done since we are young and we will carry on until we, we are adult, right? So, I would like to add on to uh, Atira's point. As she said that the wet floor will make people uncomfortable when using the public toilet. So, I think we need to install a modern ventilation, ventilation system in the public toilet so that this will reduce the moisturizer, uh, moisture accumulation on the floor. The wet floor will, uh, when the wet floor da uh, dry out, they will uh, re uh, remain the dirty stain on the floor. The dirty stain on the floor will make someone uncomfortable and when you, when you will feel unlikely to go into the public toilet when you see the toilet. And, you, and you will and you'll try to hold your, your, your business if you if you see the floor is like very dirty and you you won't want to go into the toilet even when you uh, when the uh, when the when the when the floor is very dirty right so yeah that's uh that's a really good point thank you akira for sharing her point so uh yes, Adam, I, excuse me Ms. yeah 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 i am totally agree with your point that we should apply like the ventilation system and all so i guess that the 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 ways to improve the public toilets is not only depends on individual it depends on many 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 people like it can be taken by even ngo and even government bodies to help build this um clean community right yeah that's it yeah thank you yeah yeah uh, everyone should take their own responsible on on maintaining the uh, the cleanness of the public toilet because everyone will use it so we need to make sure the public toilet is clean and then so that when we when we first go into the public toilet when we see the public toilet is like clean we will feel comfortable right so we should maintain this to the next person as this is what we need to do in the society right so adam do you have any points about how to improve the uncleanness of of public toilet emulation. And thank you, Yanni, for the question. Today, I want to give my opinion about how to improve public toilet safety. Whether as an employee or customer, most people have used a public toilet before. So, we likely understand the importance behind a clean toilet. When you step into a public toilet that is clean and safe, you feel good and it can show the appreciation either as a staff member or customer of that particular business. You see employees who, who have access to clean and modern toilet are happier and therefore more productive which can serve your business well in terms of overall success. Likewise, clients and customers are blessed less with cleaner restroom and therefore more likely to come back. As a commercial building or business owner, it is important to do your due diligence to ensure your public facilities are clean, updated and free from several hazards. Uh, today, I'm going to share you some simple tips to keeping a clean and safe public toilet. First, we must install hands-free paper towel dispenser. Second, 
place paper towels and napkins with Humphreys and dryers. Third, have plumbing pipes inspected for leaks regularly. Uh, fourth, install toilets with automatic flush sensor. Fifth, install modern ventilation system to reduce moisture accumulation. Uh, seventh, use leak free trash. And the last is appoint a custodial staff for daily cleaning. Uh, I think. That's all for me, Yeni. Okay, thank you, Adam, for sharing his point. Uh, his point is, I think it's quite important that we need to install those kind of facilities in the public toilet. Because public toilet, if without those facilities, the public toilet will like look old and it's uh, not suitable, uh, the not suitable for people to use it. And also the safety of the public toilet is uh, a concern, right? So, uh, does anyone have any uh, want to add on anything? Uh, actually, I would like to ask question to Adam. Can I, Adam? Yeah. Okay. Um, you say something about like a machine or automatic flush. Is it right? Uh, what? Yeah. Apa? Your your voice is not clear. Oh, Can sorry. Um, you you. Had say that we should call uh, automatic flush or modern thing in the toilet, right? Yes. Okay. Um, I have read several article about that, and it's it show that that is one of the point where toilet are not clean. Why do where did happen? Why did they happen then? Right. Do you understand my question? Uh, can you repeat it? <laughs> okay, okay. So my question is, uh, why why do in the article say that the modern flush is one of the reason toilet are not clean? The question is, huh? what? what? <laughs> sorry, sorry. I repeat the question. The question she's asking is about why there are still some articles saying that the modern flush will make the uh, the public toilet become unclean. Although we install, we already installed the modern uh, uh, flushing system, but why is it the the public toilet uh, uncleanliness is still not improved? Uh, because people uh, carry their bad habit uh, from from their house uh, they are always didn't flush the toilet and carry it to the public toilet I think I think that's it I think I clear with your answer thank you uh, Atira uh, I would like to ask question to you too. Uh, can you hear me, Adira? Yes. Oh, all right. I would like to ask you, uh, why do you think that some people who are not using toilet with proper? Because you say uh, we have already educate, educated ourselves since, uh, we, since our young age. Why there is uh, some people who are not using the toilet or something they have learned in the in the baby life. What do you so, think? All right. Thank you for the question, Miss Husnia. So you are asking why even though we educate ourselves even since we are young and then there are still some people who didn't practice this whole positive practices, right? So my answer is that these people they are just very selfish and all they do is that they only think about themselves. Yeah um, like someone said earlier that People sometimes do hurry or like do are in rush whenever they come to the toilet. So when they are in rush, all they can think is just that themselves. So like they will leave their hose on the floor or maybe they're not going to flush it. I don't know why, but it's just something that we can control others, but others can control themselves. So it's just that they are selfish and they are just, you know, full of themselves. Yes, thank you. 
All right, thank you, Akira. I think I clear with your answer. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for everyone sharing her answer and his his or her answer and opinion. So I'm totally agree with what Atira said just now because people are selfish, you know. They 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 don't even care about other people's and then they just like uh they just want to make themselves to become comfortable and they don't care about what other people think about themselves and all that. So I think we need to we need to like improve our attitude on based on based on this kind of thing lah. So does anyone have any other adding points or any questions? No? If no, I'm can going you, Yes. Uh, can I add something why why people say toilets are not clean? Yes, you may you may carry on. Alright. Okay, based on buildings.com, dirty or uh, based on dirty.com that I have read yesterday, or I don't remember when I read it. Dirty or sticky floors are number one turn off for public restroom patrons. According to a survey of 3,113 adults by Harris Interactive, a whooping a whooping 93% of respondents named creamy floors as a strong sign that a restroom is unclean, followed by unflushed toilets, 90%, odors, 89%, and overflowing trash cans, 88%. So I think sometimes people just not taking the, take, some people not take cleanliness as something that is important in your life which really sad actually because when we dirty in when we dirty at home people will get mad at us right so why they don't think the same thing when they are outside that's why i think sometimes people yeah people just like atira say simply sometimes <laughs> that's all okay yeah based on the statistic that uh Hosnia uh said just now it's really important that we need to improve the uncleanliness of public toilet because even though when we are going to our when we are back to hometown we, we need to use uh, the the distance is quite long right we can't even hold our business on the car for like few hours right so we sure we need to find some public toilet to to release our business right so i think yeah it's really important to improve the pub, uh, the uncleanliness of public toilet so does anyone still have any questions or any adding points? No, right. So I'm going to end this discussion today. I think we all have reached a consensus that uh, it's really important and to improve the uncleanliness of public toilet and we need to respond as soon as possible so that we can uh, improve our lifestyle and uh, protect us from the virus and all that when we are using the public toilet, right? As what mentioned before, uh, as what Akira mentioned before, education is really important because we will we will affect by, our attitude will affect by the people around us, right? And also what Husnia said, uh, putting back the holes, all that is really, will make us more comfortable when using the, the public toilet and we will be like happier when, it's like because release your business is a very happy thing right like really relieve something like that so i think uh to make us more happier a uh, a clean a clean public toilet is very important and also as uh, what adam said uh install some facilities and improve the uh, the cleanness of the the cleaning of the cleanness of the public toilet is also very important so that's all for today uh our today discussion Thank you for all sharing their very good points and their, uh, uh, their questions and all that. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you, guys. Thank you for inviting us, Miss Yen. Thank you.